Hi, my name is Jennifer Goodrich, and I'm excited to speak to you today about Pivot. So Pivot's been around since 1972, it was formerly known as U-Services for Oklahoma County, and it was really born out of a need for counseling services for young people reintegrating into the community out of juvenile justice. All of the services at Pivot really revolve around, we're a hope-centered agency, um, and all of our key domains really fall into HOPE. So housing, sheltering, and basic needs, um, overall wellness, permanent connections, and then education and employment. Everything that we offer, whether it's our two shelters to our 26 tiny homes, um, educational advocacy, employment connection, including our own social enterprise of Pivot Preserves, and what are those relationships that they either lack or don't have good role models for, like how are we filling those gaps and needs that they have? Because the bottom line is, is that the young people we serve have the same dreams and desires as every other young person. They just have more barriers and less opportunity. We can get you a job, teach you life skills, that sort of thing, but we really have to address that internal experience to be able to have them live their best life. So what your behavior is saying is I need help and I'm struggling, but when people see it, what they see is negativity, defiance and stuff like that. That's why it's important you see behind it. Mm -hmm. Like what's the need that, you know, perpetuating that behavior. Um, because that's when you get to the heart of what needs to happen. It also includes our physical health services. So on site, we have a partnership with Variety Care that comes once a week and provides for that. It's our case management services where we're linking and advocating for those young people in every area of their life. Um, it's being their cheerleader. It's being all of those sorts of supports um, that oftentimes they don't have. And then in the last 52 years, it has really grown into so much more. Um, but that's really where the vision started. It also, Pivot also belongs to the Oklahoma Association of Youth Services. Um, and then, so there's 30 plus across the state that have um, a like-minded vision and idea of what young people in our community need. We all do a little similar stuff, but we all do a lot of different stuff also. I think because they convene so many of us together. And I think there used to be this, this feeling, and I think funders have helped change this too is that it used to be so competitive and now it is so much more collaborative. And I think when there's not that pressure that if you win, I lose, mm -hmm. um, it opens up the opportunity for a whole lot of that. And I would credit them and a lot of the major funders in the Oklahoma City area to creating that different environment. So all the services at Pivot are integrated, right? So no matter how you enter, you have access to everything. Because our belief is, is if it's good for one young person, it's good for all young people. So no matter where the referral source, we should be serving you in that way. Tiny Homes is the ultimate integration of all those services. So we're providing the housing, you can access your basic needs, you can get your counseling right here, you can have employment, all of those things. So I would say one of um, my greatest opportunities to witness a young person grow um, is our first tiny home resident where he came to us um, from a shelter situation. He had um, discharged out of, aged out of care. Um, he was able to finish his education and get the support services that he needed. He did come back and continue to engage. He still gets basic needs from us and all of that sort of thing. I think the thing that was most endearing for me was when he came back and donated to Pivot. So he had some resources, some extra cleaning supplies, that sort of thing, and he came back and wanted to make that next step. Um, he's advised us in many ways, like when we want, we want the youth voice, like we want the person we serve with lived experience to help inform what we do. Um, he's been a great part of that. He's been a great advocate and, and that kind of thing. So he's definitely a success story. Now, is he always, continuing to grow as he face challenges, absolutely. But what I'm proud about is Pivot continues to be part of that journey for him. We have two shelters and one for 12 to 17 year olds that run through 24 seven, 365, and it's called the Family Junction. Our other shelter is really for young adults, transitional age young adults, so 18 to 25, and that's called The Point. Um, it is open four to eight for drop-in center services and then from 8 p.m. to 9 a.m. for night sheltering and that's really for young people experiencing street homelessness. Um, 
So we have a variety of ways that people can get involved. So obviously volunteer opportunities. We do everything from a consistent volunteer that comes twice a week, every week. Um, we have large groups that can come in. So again, if you want to volunteer, you tell us what you're interested in. We will do our very best to accommodate that. Pivot's a private nonprofit, so obviously dollars are very important to us so that we can serve more young people. Like the need is rising. Um, in this last fiscal year, we served over 3,200 young people.